You know, this place looks huge. It looks so much bigger. When I was a kid, back in the in the 70s, this it might be bigger. Wow, I don't remember. Anyway, it didn't look like this. The whole facade was a brick, kind of a brick facade type of a color. Um, but now everything that they're building is very, um, like I said, very sterile. It's very, very disturbing. Everything pretty much now that they're building and painting and a lot of buildings that used to have color um, are now being painted black and white. Uh, it's just, I just, it, it makes no sense at all. But uh, that place is new, definitely. So there's a, ooh, man, you, you can feel the cold air coming out of there. Holy cow. All right, let's go in and take a look. Oh, stores and dining. Ooh, trippy. Yeah, I'll get a strike. This is second level parking. Kind of cool looking. I think, uh, yeah, that is Cedar Cyanide Hospital over there. There's the Beverly Hills. Los Hillis. Third, third level parking. All right. Fourth level parking. Yeah, there's not enough parking. It's California. Weekend brunch. Fifth level parking, again, because there's not enough parking. It's California. All right, finally on the top of the world. Top of the world, tell you there, lad. Here we go. Oh crap, that just, holy shit. Dang. That just give me the willies, there we go. We got a nice coffee commissary all in pink. Pinky pinky. There's more floors? Dang, I have not been here in a long time. Oh yeah. Let's see. Six and seven. There you go. I will de ooh. Fancy touch. I will definitely put some links down here for you folks. We have uh, sprinkles. ATM. It's funny because out here in the United States, everybody's tripping out on all these kind of new ones. And then the latest one, that's not too bad. $6 for a cupcake. That's about average. Well, for the trendiness. $24 for a four pack. That's not bad. But anyway, people are, are like tripping out on these machines and stuff like that. I just laugh because, you know, Japan has always had uh, fantastic uh vending machines so there's the seventh level i feel so underdressed okay i had to ask a gentleman over here at a at a store what the policy is because i see some not and some folks uh because today changed a lot both in la county and in pasadena in pasadena we already moved back we are not even requiring there's no one even asking uh some of the businesses are but the majority of the businesses for being masked, they're not even gonna ask for proof. It is completely on the honor system. Here in LA County though, uh, and I'm sorry for you folks that are, 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 are Dems, but look, they, the Democrats out here on the West Coast do not want to let go of control or power. I'm sorry, but that's just, that's just, a, that's just the fact. You know, They just don't really want to. But, uh, yeah, this place has changed quite a bit. Holy cow. It used to be, how can I say this? It used to be like your typical American mall, kind of like the old house back in the late 60s, early 70s, you know, with the wood paneling and dark wood and everything. Uh, it was a mall, you know. The inside of the, of the malls were very much um, brick, brick colored and whatnot. So, you know, it's really cool. But this is definitely, yeah, it's... It's... I just, I'm sorry, I just don't like 
just being uniformly one basic color. This is, I expect this from maybe the doctor's office or the hospital, but this doesn't really also encourage me to want to spend the money. I don't know. It's, it's not homey. It's not comfortable. It's not where I want to come. It's just not that I have any money. I'm broke as F now. Oh, and just for you folks, so you'll know, yesterday I did, I threw, I said, fuck it. I ended up rescheduling my uh, hernia surgery. So it'll be at the end of the month, I think the 25th of March. Oh, look at that. Are those Nash? I've been wanting some roller skates again. Um, but I did. So it'll be uh, Friday the 25th. It's just that it hurts too much and I'm afraid that it's going to really blow out on me and have a, I'll end up having a strangled hernia. So it's just, it, it's painful. So, all right, Bloomingdale's. Oh, I remember this. Saw a lot of ads for this as of last year. This is the newest electric smart car per se. I mean, you know what, for something around in town, it's not so bad, but um, I would not like to be in between a semi and a city bus on this thing, because as we say in Spanish, te apachurran. It's cute and everything. It's more like a kid's car. I think uh, last year they were doing reservations at $1,000 for a reservation. But uh, LA traffic is a little too crazy. So here's the quick layout. What's those pretzels? Ooh, I love what's those pretzels. All right, here's a nice view. There is the Hollywood sign. And check out this view. Pretty, pretty spectacular, right? There is downtown LA. Right over there, there's the bank. I think, is that Century City? God, I'm really turned around. I know the, the train that I take to go to Santa Monica runs that away. And we were way the heck over there. And it's a beautiful day. All right, coming up on the seventh level. Oh, hey, what's the pretzels? I couldn't smell it because I, all I could smell was with Bath and Body. Wow, this place has changed. Holy cow. Oh, it's warmer up here though. That's, that's nicer. Banana Republic. Oh, I remember. Do you guys remember Banana Republic? Like, and it's early when it first came out. Well, I don't know. I remember it like in the late 70s, early 80s, where each each store kind of varied and was different, had like a different motif to it as far as the display. Kind of like the old best catalog uh, department stores that we used to have way back when. Uh, every best mark you know I'll try to put a link down from that uh, I know a lot of you folks don't even know what a uh, best catalog store was but it was unique because each one had an architectural wonder some of the corner buildings actually moved out completely it opened up the store and it was just pretty unique but Banana Republic had like a Jeep going through the window or whatever it was it was unique you know the whole the whole presentation of Banana Republic was that safari life and everything and jungle motif and it was cool. Now they got all, they got all, well, they got all whatever. Yeah, you definitely need some money to come over here. Other than, I don't know, 
if they had maybe a, a Ross or a <laughs> an Old Navy here, I could afford something like that if I had money. But there's nothing here that I could really, not even Express. Although Express, they are clearing out a lot of merchandise constantly. Polo, Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren. Oh crap, that's it's only a one floor. Rebecca Taylor. Uh, we got a coach. And of course, as I've always said, you can't have a, a place to spend your money without having an Apple store. There's Apple of, Apple of Beverly. Ooh. Pretty cool. Got a Dolce Gabbana. That's another, that's kind of like my third preference as far as fragrance. Michael Kors. So, oh, if you folks want to come out here and if you have some money, by all means, I would say come out here. If not, if you just want to come look, then just come look. Looking is free, except for the parking. The Louis Vuitton. Uh, diesel, that's common. Pinks, that's common. Omega, not too common. We have your, your Prada. And we have your Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. Nice atrium. You have your Saint Laurent. You see, oh, Burberry. I think I had mentioned, uh, I had, in one of the hygiene packs that I got a, when I was homeless, I ended up getting a rather good sized bottle of Burberry. I had no idea what Burberry was for the longest time, and I just, I love the fragrance. But um, yeah, I didn't, didn't know what it was. And, it was like a tester thing, but it was cool. Versace, Golden Goose, or whatever the heck that is. Salvatore. Uh, we, we got everything over here, friends. Oh, what's this? Ooh, dead real estate. Mont Black, oh. I love pens. I used to have this thing for pens when I was in, in high school. Always, actually. I used to do calligraphy. But Mont Black is beautiful stuff. They have... It's just fantastic. Sephora. Wow. Lost Warhols. Very cool. Through the Forever 20. Well, that's not bad, actually. It, it's nice. You got an H&M over on this side. Do your part. Yeah, it's funny. It's just it's weird. California is just... I don't recognize my home state anymore. This is being torn by both sides and up the middle, so... All right, I think we... Eight levels, holy cow. I think we covered pretty much everything. Ooh, crap, this just gives me the willies. Oh, shoot. Oh crap! <laughs> oh lord! I, oh boy! I know, Charlie. It's not that. I know it's not, but. And I used to work on a huge press deck. I was a security guard at construction sites, and used to walk on top of the top part of the iron frame. Now it's just. I think it's just because of so many years of not uh, working in heights. Honestly, I don't know. But uh, I actually even have sometimes trouble watching some of the uh, the park, the theme park videos. And as far as uh, the heights and everything, it gives me the willies. And as far as like watching the mountain bikers going off on like the edges of, of the mountains of the top peaks and like maybe three, four inches wide. Yeah, that gives me the willies. One of these kind of 
weird chairs that spin around. Not so bad. Actually, this wouldn't. A couple of speakers and a woofer behind, just like the mid back section. This would be a decent little gaming chair, I think. Feels like it's heavy as hell, though. Do your part. Face covering required. Well, I don't know. I just, uh, I just don't know. Anyway, that's about it. I think that'll be a wrap. It's already, holy cow, it's already just about 2.30. It takes forever to get over here, especially, especially over on the weekends when the public transportation is a little more relaxed as far as uh, in between. But uh, it's, uh, it'll probably take me about an hour and a half just to get back. And I think I have, uh, yeah, I have a couple of doctor's appointments. I have one on Monday and one on Tuesday. I mean, you know, I, I've always said this. I, I like, well, main reason that I, I like to window shop is in the malls and stuff. Free eye candy for me. I'm so lonely. It's not even funny. No, it is quite amusing. It it, it really is. It's quite funny. As much as I'd like to be involved, I'm just not in a hurry. You know what I mean? No. There's really no sense in in hurrying up. So kind of dumb. But yeah. And as I actually I've said many a times. It's just, it's not, it wouldn't be conducive, honestly, uh, to my life and my, my situation of living uh, there or as long as she's there. It just, it, it just wouldn't make sense to, uh, to do anything like that. So there's just no privacy. There's no privacy. So, all right, let's, I am turned around. Let's, where are we? Gotta find a way out. Okay, here we are. Back where we started. Let's get the puck out of here. Alright, back where it's a little bit warmer. Holy cow, it was cold in there and I I de-layered myself. So I should have put at least my my jacket back on after crossing this frigid frosty area. That's a lot of parking, right? Wow. But then again, it's it's pretty big in there. It, it, this place was really never one of those 80 types of mall. Not like the Galleria was in uh, Sherman Oaks Galleria in the valley. That was, uh, that was, that was the, actually that was like the second bomb. Well, that was the main mall to go to for those folks in the San Fernando Valley, but for us people in the South Bay, uh, Redondo Beach, El Segundo, Hermosa, Manhattan, for us it was Del Amo Mall in Torrance. So that was that was our mall. But then again, to go, <laughs> I remember to go go pick up chicks and stuff like that. The San Fernando Mall was the, the place to go. So especially with the Valley girls and and what have you. So. And back to the expensive gas over here. That was a shock, right folks? Yeah, so I had to come out here and check it out. All right, my friends, that is going to be it for me. I am definitely gonna wrap it up and uh, head back. I got a couple of buses and a couple of trains that I gotta cross over. All right, so you folks take care of yourselves. <laughs> take care of each other, but always take care of yourselves first. Love one another, trust one another, be kind to each other, help one another. Don't take today for granted or any other day thereafter. Live for the moment. Pull down your pants and slide on that ice. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, what we're doing, 
hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button. Tell your friends and family about me, about us, and uh, the high cost of living in California now is can't even afford to be homeless in California, honestly. Whatever little government, federal, whatever kind of assistance you get, food stamps, Medi-Cal, and the Medi-Cal, good luck with getting medications and stuff like that, regardless of what the Biden administration says. It's all bullshit. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that I can, a lot of medications that I need. Life-saving medications that I, that's considered, that it just, it, it's just, it's not there, so. And uh, the high cost of fuel is one thing, but the high cost of food too is just, it's crazy. So hopefully once I have this surgery, uh, do my recovery if I can manage to recover, providing I don't get an infection post-surgery because I won't be able to take a shower. Uh, everything's gonna have to be baby wipes as far as bathing and hygiene and I'm gonna be hard pressed to come up with money now. The sooner I can recover and get this taken care of, the quicker I can get back to work because the doctor says that once once you get the surgery done you can you'll be before before you know having the hernia and everything so I'll be able to have a little bit better choice as far as any offers you know climbing stairs ladders and right now is kind of precarious with this stupid thing and uh, like unloading a truck or you know picking up heavy boxes Jesus uh, is a little iffy because when I'm picking up a heavy load I can you know I can feel it down in my, my pelvis and in my groin area so it hurts it just it just really hurts all right folks comments good or bad as always uh, please post if not uh, email any questions or anything like that so it's gorgeous it is a gorgeous day all right folks I love you all stay safe be kind be nice and watch for watch watch yourself and be smart with your money bye bye